If you've been playing MMOs for any amount of time, you've probably heard mention of different add-ons that some players use to enhance their gaming experience in one way or another. In The Elder Scrolls Online, add-ons are only available on the PC platform due to the closed environments of Xbox and PlayStation consoles. Unfortunately, if you play on one of the console platforms, this video will not be very helpful for you. But if you're a PC player who's looking to start using add-ons, the easiest way to do so is by using the Minion Add-on Management application. This video will walk you through the process of downloading Minion and installing different add-ons. First, we're going to go to the Minion website, which will be linked below in the description. Once we're here, we'll need to download the client, so click on Download first, and then select the version that applies to your system. When the initial download is complete, go ahead and open up the installer. Click through the setup wizard to begin installing the program. It may take a few moments, but it's honestly not a very large application, so the installation should go by pretty quickly. Once it's done installing, click finish to launch the program. The license agreement will pop up and make sure you read the whole thing from start to finish before you click agree. Who the hell reads that entire thing every time it pops up? I do. Me too. Then, it will ask you if you'd like to scan for the two games that are supported by Minion, ESO and World of Warcraft. You can just uncheck WoW if you're only using this for ESO, and then click continue and continue again. Minion will look for the game, but if it doesn't find the add-on folder on its own, it will ask you to manually help to find it. For ESO, the add-on folder will be found in Documents, then go to The Elder Scrolls Online, Live, and then when you see it, select the add-ons folder. I've noticed that after a fresh install of Minion, it sometimes stays blank like this once the add-on folder is selected. So if this happens to you, just close the program and relaunch it. When the program reopens, it should look like this. And now we're ready to start downloading our add-ons. For ESO, most add-ons require library add-ons in order for them to work. I'm no expert, but my understanding is that these libraries store information that other add-ons use to function properly. I usually install the most downloaded libraries first to cover my bases, and if any additional ones are needed, I search them out individually. You can use the search function in the Find More tab to find any specific add-on you're looking for, or you can just browse the most popular add-ons and choose the ones you want from there. Eventually, as updates are released for your installed add-ons, you'll need to open up Minion and update the out-of-date add-ons. That can easily be done by clicking this Update All button right here. Once these add-ons have been installed, they will be available for you in the game. A menu for add-on management can be found in-game for you to turn specific add-ons on or off. If one or more of the add-ons is missing a dependency, it will show up in red here, and you can go back to that add-on in Minion and figure out which library it's missing. If you want to adjust the specific settings of the add-ons, go to Settings and down to Add-ons to access the individual settings menu of your installed add-ons. And that pretty much covers the basics of how to install add-ons for The Elder Scrolls Online. Again, these add-ons are unfortunately unavailable for console players, but if there's interest in doing so, I can make a video about the various out-of-game resources available to all players on all platforms. Let me know in the comments if that's something that interests you. Well, that's all I've got for this video. If you found the information helpful, please leave a comment or like the video. Subscribe for more, and until next time guys, see ya!